Hey, one of the most popular use cases for Extremeo is uh, VDI. Uh, in this specific example, we're going to use Citrix Zen Desktop to boot, uh, simulate a bootstorm of 2,500 VDI VMs. What we have here is a single 10 terabyte Xbox that, as you can see right now, doesn't do too much. That's because the VDI VMs are all uh, shut down. As you can see, none of them is registered currently with the DDC's servers. That's because they're all down. So what we're going to do now is actually boot them all up at the same time and uh, see how it goes. I'm going to select them all and there you go and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this free stopwatch utility so the moment the DRS will stop calculating on which host to actually place the VM that it's going to start booting and actually start booting the VMs and generate storage load I'm going to start the stopwatch utility itself so there you go we just started now and if we go to the array we're going to see that uh, we're just starting to throw the IOPS and the bandwidth right now so I'm going to resume the recording in about uh, five or six minutes where we can actually see VM starting to get logged in. And we're going to examine how long did it take us in, in general to boot storms all of these uh, VDI VMs. Okay, let's take a look at what we see after seven minutes and 40 seconds. You can see roughly 830 VMs. And this number will significantly go with every refresh that I do at the DDCs, which is what we expect. If we go to the storage array, we can still see that the very high load is taking place. We can see the IO distribution versus the, with the block sizes. We can divide it via volumes, although I would expect similar workload on each one of the volumes. That's the beauty of the scale out. Need to balance nothing, a type of architecture at the array itself. If we go back to the Citrix DDC and refresh the screen, we'll see more and more VMs that are being logged in. So I'm going to spend it for a couple of more uh, minutes to see when do we actually have the majority of them uh, being logged in. There you go. After less than uh, 10 minutes, we have more than 2,100 VMs being logged in out of the 2,500, which is amazing, considering all the I/O load that uh, the single 10 terabyte Xbox needs to sustain. And very, very soon we'll have almost all of them uh, being logged in. We are very, very close to that. Remember, we have 2,500 VDI VMs. And there you go. In 10 minutes and uh, 30 seconds, we have almost all the VM being logged in, which is really amazing. Those would just be Rogue One with probably the service that needs to be restarted. And we can actually cross evident it with the array load itself. As you can see, it's very, very low. So really, if we want to zoom in, that was the bulk of the time when the array was busy during the bootstorm. So amazing results with Extreme IO 4.0 booting up 2,500 Citrix machine creation services VMs.